Hi everyone, my name's Andrew. I've been doing astrophotography for about two years now. I started out just by holding up a smartphone to the eyepiece of a telescope, and that was enough to hold me over with bright things like the Orion Nebula and the Pleiades. But soon I wanted to graduate to a DSLR, so I got this Canon SL2 here. And that's actually exactly what we're going to be using tonight to capture the Andromeda Galaxy. I think the best place to start this video is going to be going over the equipment I'm going to be using to capture those two and a half million year old photons. What I'm using tonight is the Canon SL2 with a 250mm f5.6 lens on it. And down below we have the Ioptron Smart EQ Pro. This is an equatorial tracking mount which just follows the stars so they don't blur through the frames as I take long exposures. Then down below that we have the hand controller which is, I won't be using much because I do run computer control on my mount. Then down below that we have my USB hub, that's just where everything goes over to the computer over there. And we also have the ice cream tub cable management. This is just where I kind of shove all the extra long cables in there. Helps a little bit. And down below I have this little weight here. This just helps reduce vibrations and keep them from reaching the mounts up above. My imaging laptop. The box is just to keep dew from forming on it. I want to keep those electronics safe. And this is connected via USB to the equatorial mount and camera. And therefore I can through the use of Nina, automate my entire imaging session. From the laptop, I stream Nina to my desktop inside, which really helps when it gets real cold out. And then I've also got a little weather station that lets me monitor the live temperature, and it also gives me wind speed, so I know when I have to go grab my mount and make sure it doesn't fall over. And then it also does dew point as well, which is very useful, so I know when I have to plug my dew heater in. So it's now 11 o'clock at night, and it's been coming between partly cloudy and mostly cloudy. Right now I'm just hoping that I get a break in the clouds long enough for me to polar align the equatorial mount so that I can actually track accurately. And after that, once I get everything set up, then I should be able to image between the clouds for most of the night and get at least some usable data. I think I might have to choose a new target at this point if you look at the altitude graph, Andromeda has already been setting for the past hour or two. By the time I actually get imaging, it's going to be fairly low. So I could do something more like the Pleiades or the Heart and Soul Nebula, but it all depends on all the trees I have around me and what's visible and what's too low. I finally did get a clearing good enough to polar align them out which is where I align the axis of rotation with Polaris's altitude in the sky, using this little crosshair here. And I think it's gone behind the clouds again now, but that'll at least allow me to go back inside where it's warm. Finally got something. That right there is Polaris, our North Star. I'm just checking my focus and adjusting it enough to get plate solving started once I go inside. So because of all the clouds and Andromeda being low now, I'm actually going to do M45 instead now that it's cleared up, also known as the Pleiades star cluster. Okay, we're going to go ahead and slew to the Pleiades. You can hear those motors whirring up. So I'm back inside now, we already have the Pleiades in the field of view. And what I'm doing now is I am going to plate solve it, which basically takes an image, checks it against a database of stars, and then calculates how much it needs to move the telescope in order for that object to be centered in the field of view. I run that, it'll take a five second exposure, and hopefully we'll see those stars get a little more centered. And there it goes. It says the telescope was synced, so it should be perfectly centered and ready to start imaging. Alright, so I got my first 60 second exposure in, and I've noticed these stars are looking a little out of focus, so I think I'm going to go out and refocus and come back. Alright, it's about 1am now. I finally got the sequence started, 
So we are taking uh, 280 60 second explosions on M45. And you can see right here, we're already getting a little bit of nebulosity coming through. And once I stack all that together, we should be able to pull a lot of that out. So now that this is running, I'm just gonna let it run all night and it should be finishing up around 6 a.m. Got 300 exposures to take, each is 60 seconds long. And once all those have been captured, I'll go ahead and combine all those, stack them together, and then process it to bring out a little bit of nebulosity there. Should make for a great final image.